So I didn't really start life as an engineer. My undergraduate degree was in geology. And from geology, I learned a lot about geochemistry and then mineralogy. And from mineralogy, it was an easy step through to materials science. Um, so material surfaces, just like mineral surfaces, are very interesting, complex, uh, atomistic places. And what I'm really interested in is how what happens when you add a drop of water to those surfaces, everything completely changes. So for example, in a cement, you start with some cement minerals, which are a powder, you add a drop of water and all of a sudden they start to dissolve. And when they dissolve, they start to turn into new minerals or new materials and they bind together to make cement and that can be used in lots of different engineering applications. So I work at the interface between material science and engineering. And what I'm particularly interested in is material surfaces at the atomistic level and how they dissolve. Um, specifically, I'm very interested in how fast they dissolve and what the processes are because this is really important to lots of different engineering applications. My specific area of focus um, that I look at mineral surfaces is trying to understand how the surfaces of very radioactive nuclear waste materials, and that can be glasses, cements and ceramics, how they dissolve when they come into contact with groundwater. Now this is really important because in the UK at the moment we have 450,000 metres cubed of nuclear waste. It's very radioactive, that's about the same volume as one Wembley Stadium. And we're planning to dispose of this in a very deep geological disposal facility, which is going to be several hundreds of metres below the ground where there's lots of groundwater. And it's very important that we know that the waste isn't going to dissolve, therefore we know that it's going to be safe. Um, and this is one of the things I love the most about my job, it's taking science and trying to turn it into a problem-solving mechanism for this really big engineering challenge. So the best thing about being an engineer is that I can take my insatiable desire to try and understand how and why processes happen, and that's kind of the sciencey bit, and apply it using creative solutions to try and solve big engineering problems. Over the last few hundred years, most of the big changes have occurred have been because engineers and scientists have worked together, and I think I'm really lucky to be working at that interface uh, to try and solve a really big engineering problem, and that's how to safely dispose of all the nuclear waste that we have in the UK.